<laughs> Not even condition under which they are forced to be camped ever since after the attack could deter them from unleashing the happiness in them. Thanks to the return of three members of the family facilitated by the Maiduguru Office of the International Committee for the Red Cross, a merciless attack on Cross Kawa, Kukawa local government area of northern Borno, scattered the inhabitants with everyone scurrying for safety through every available way, including 16-year-old Kaltume's family before reaching Jabulam, a border community was charged. Soon after that, the insurgents launched another attack that forced them to separate with their mother till death. Kaltume's age notwithstanding, she was forced to, beginning from that day, play the role of father and mother to her younger siblings, the smallest now six years old. On that fateful day, I could remember seeing dozens of gunmen suspected to be Boko Haram who came to our village shooting sporadically. Our mother is still missing. When asked of her ambition in life in spite of her ordeal, her response My ambition in life is to become either a health worker, a doctor I can say, or a humanitarian worker. Before the incident, I was in junior secondary school with my studies progressing without any hitch. Meanwhile, not only her being reunited with some of her family members gives her immense joy, her first ever experience of being in a plane, to be precise a chopper, is something she never dreamt of even in her wildest imagination. Excitement with Hassan Shuaibu, who saw Kaltumi and other siblings six years back, is better imagined. <laughs> It's too real to be true that we have reunited with one of us, Kaltumi, and other siblings, having missed seeing them for six years owing to that unfortunate attack. To be honest, we have lost all hope of reuniting with them. We are still hoping and praying that one day we will get reunited with our parents too that are still missing. Lillian Dubi is part of the ICRC team in the Northeast that helped using key details that the siblings had been able to remember. So far in Nigeria, ICRC has registered over 24,000 people who have separated with their families. And the ICRC works with the National Society to help families to search for those families in different areas of, of, of Nigeria or sometimes outside of Nigeria. We do this by registering their cases and sharing with the places where they think the families could be found. As the Northeast, Maiduguri in particular gradually picks up the pieces brought by the more than a decade long insurgency. The hope and prayer on the lips of many is that more displaced families get reunited with their loved ones sooner than later.